Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Captain Taylor here with SaltyScales.com. Today we're out on the beautiful Tampa Bay. Couldn't ask for better weather. And I'm gonna bring an LTB unboxing to you right now, right here. Let's dive in. <laughs> I got Chris's fish, guys, while doing the LTB. <laughs> this is the best way to do an unboxing, guys. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I stole Chris's fish. It's not a moga. Or you use a shrimp. Shrimp. There goes Chris trolling me again, guys. I don't know. He's always doing something funny. Let him go. Let him grow. Here we go. Let's get in here and take a look. We got all kinds of literature in here, guys, like we typically do. Just to read off what we have on the box or inside the box here, we have the Vicious VFJ 120 Shallow. Um, we also have the Saltwater Plastics by VNM, Bite Shrimp, Doomsday Turtle, Octopus Live Bait Mustad Hooks, and of course the Inshore 3D Popper and the 5 inch Kick a Mullet. Well, let's take a look and see what all that means. First things first, guys, it's the Mustad Octopus Live Bait Hooks. These come in at a $3.99 value. Mustad, as always, makes a great product. One of the superior hook products on the market today. They're also in that red color. Give it a little flash. Get a lot of these baits by Vicious. This is the Jerk Bait, Blueback Orange Belly. This is the VHJC 120S and the 3 8 ounce. And this is a great uh, lure, guys. It's also a $6.99 retail value. The Yozuri 3D Popper. I actually probably like this one besides the mullet the best out of all the other lures in this box. This little thing has a very wide mouth and I'll break it out in just a moment to show you up close. But it's going to uh, disperse a lot of water, make a nice gurgling and popping noise to attract those fish. Here you are. This is the Kicker Mullet by Egret Baits. It's white. Chris is being attacked by a wasp and he's doing all kinds of funny things. But this is an awesome looking bait. I've never actually used one of these things, but you can see how the tail, which I'll show you in a second, it has a joint tail. It's gonna allow for fluid movement, give it a more natural presentation for a good swim bait. LTB threw in this little koozie here. It says, wanna get lucky? We all wanna get lucky. VNM makes a great little bait here. This is a, it looks like a glow imitation of a greenback with a nice little paddle tail. We'll put these baby to use on our mission fishing jig heads. Nice little soft plastic. All right, here's some bite shrimp in that new penny color. One of my favorite colors for redfish. And these look very lifelike. I've never used them. They look very similar to the gulp and color. We'll have to check out their durability, see how good they really are. Now these are probably the most interesting thing that I got in my box, especially for saltwater. Never seen anybody use a saltwater turtle for bait, but uh, they're definitely interesting looking. It says Doomsday Turtle, the original. So first time I've ever heard of these, first time I've seen them, we'll break them out of the package and get a closer look. So as you can see, I think we got a ton of different baits, definitely worth the, the value of the $25 that you spend on the box. Um, so I'm always impressed with that. But let's dive in and take a closer look at each of these baits, see what, uh, what's great about them. All right, so here it is. This is our turtle creature bait here. It says the Doomsday Turtle. My opinion, it looks more like a beetle of some sort. But they recommend on the package that you uh, Texas rig this little bait. And from what I read here, it says it's a bad day to be a bass, but it also says you can use this in fresh or salt water. Now. I'm sure it makes some weird vibrations and feeds off different things with all these crazy legs that it has. So I'm sure both salt and freshwater fish would probably eat it. So very interesting. We'll have to give it a try. Maybe me and Chris could do a challenge or something using the Doomsday Turtle. All right, so here goes the 3D Inshore Yozuri Popper. This has a prism type finish. Now that you can see that in the sun, when the sun hits off of it, it reflects very nicely. It's got this super wide mouth, red, to really draw attention. And of course, it's gonna be a bubbling, 
spitting machine when you're popping it across the surface here. This is a floating bait, obviously, and it has some super durable stainless hooks. The way it's going to, you know, uphold in this salt water, the harsh elements. It seems like it only has one little bead in the back to give off just enough noise to drive those fish crazy. Nice little small profile bait should be great for snook, redfish, and trout. All right, here's the five inch egret mullet with flash. This is a slow sinking mullet. It's a jointed swim bait, hard bait. And it says that the sinking rate is very depending on the salinity, which I found that interesting. I guess that's with all baits though. And it has some super strong thick gauge treble hooks that look like they're gonna be very, very durable for them big fish especially like if you're hooking into tarpon, big, big snook and redfish. So nice uh, holographic eyes, very, very flashy. Fish aren't gonna miss that. And it's got some large, dull rattles that are gonna emit low frequency sound throughout the water to drive those fish nuts. And here's the vicious fishing VHJC series. This is the classic uh, shaped jerk bait that you would use and it's uh, that chrome finish. Blue back, chrome sides, and orange belly. I know the bass, this is a very popular color. Um, but this has a rattle chamber that transmits those subsonic sound waves. It's a high pitch unlike the larger jerk bait and it's really going to catch the attention of those fish. It's got the three trebles. You got to be careful when you catch and fish with that. Allow it to end up in your hand, but it'll hold on to those fish. All right, here's the three inch little mini glow by VNM Baits. It's got this little paddle tail, mimics somewhat of a green back, but it also glows. This is going to be an awesome little bait to use for trout, snook, especially at nighttime under them docks. It's really going to light up, and uh, they're going to see that. So, quality of it looks really nice. It even has some texture on the sides here. The, uh, the plastic seems to be very durable. Definitely interested in getting those out there. It also has a nice little scent added to it. Uh, it says super scented and softer. By the way, it says not for uh, human consumption, so don't take a bite. Get bit with the bite shrimp. These things look cool, guys. Very nice. They're very limber. Uh, unlike the gulp, which is somewhat stiff, the new penny color, especially with that little sparkle, silver and black flake, really, really good color. Like I said before, I'll put my 1 8 ounce, 1 4 ounce mission fishing jig head and I'll slay some redfish using this soft plastic here. Um, see if it tells you anything about it. It just says get bit with bite and it says trophy grade tackle for all your freshwater and saltwater needs. So I have to check them out. This is actually the first time I've ever heard of this particular brand. But uh, I definitely like this particular uh, bait here, so can't wait to try it. Here it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing of the LTB. This is the August box. If you did, please give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe for more great um, tutorials, boxes, and, of course, fish in action. Until next time, I'll see you on the water. Get lucky.